what is up people uh pranav here on the second channel so uh, i know i abandoned this channel a few months back uh but back then i did it because the financial situation on this channel was not in a state where i could keep content coming on but now i find myself in a position where i can try and do that more often so um i'm going to be doing exactly that and the other reason why i feel i should do this channel is because there is so much show designs and mission summation content coming out it's like a sea and with my frequency my very poor frequency on the main channel there's very little a very tiny fraction of that that i can try and cover on the main channel this channel is also going to be something i can do more often mainly cuz it's a little less effort uh i'm just going to be talking in the camera maybe reacting to a video and what basic suit sense principle what idea they getting wrong in this video that's basically going to be the content on the channel i'm going to try and release it more often uh i'm going to try and do daily videos a uh, video every day over here if when i'm not releasing a video on the main channel so uh yeah that's going to be the main thing and i'm also going to be repeating a lot of the points that i'm saying here so regular views of mine might have heard a lot of what i say i'm also going to be able to uh, cover a lot of content specific nuances uh, for the particular video that i'm addressing in that video so uh, i'm going to be able to go to a lot more depth over here uh um, but some of the basic principles that i'm saying are going to be repeated over and over again and the reason for that is because new people are going to keep watching my videos everybody who this going to be someone new who's never seen me who's never heard what i have to say before so principles like these what i have on this uh, is going to be repeated often and you're going to keep hearing that over and over again so keep uh keeping that in mind you will also get to uh, hear me talk go in a lot more depth in a particular piece of content but uh, that's basically it and uh, for this first video first video in a new batch of videos uh, i'm going to react to this now uh, this page uh, dr reka uh, which is uh, and our with a page really big uh, 162k followers made this video recently let's hear what she's saying we know the thing about research right every research gets discarded and new research comes in its place and that happens every 5 to 6 months so people start following that and then the new research come they follow follow something else that itself is an imbalance always trust ayurveda whatever principles have been said 5000 years ago it's still relevant and it never changes when research happens in ayurveda the old concepts never get discarded instead the old concepts get refined in ayurveda so uh, we all saw what she said um, either this person doesn't know the scientific method at all how it works at all or she's deliberately disinforming the people who are watching her videos and uh, this is a huge problem okay a uh, huge pages especially on instagram huge pages 100 plus k followers disinforming every single person that watches them. first of all this is uh, not how ayurveda works or how the scientific method works see the scientific method and i i uh, um, you can look up my qualifications if you'd like i've done research anyone who has done research will tell you this um, i i have a couple of videos on the scientific method also which i'll link below this video in the description uh hopefully youtube still allows links i'll also link a video on how alternative medicine just these kinds of things uh to disinform the people its audience disinform the public uh and I, hopefully you can click on that link too in the description but briefly i'll tell you this the purpose of research is to find new evidence and learn new things in science we have models based on evidence we've already seen now those models may be right or wrong but how will we know if they're wrong 
a further research shows some new evidence that th that cannot be explained by this old, old model then we have to ref refine the old model and create a new model uh, that can explain these uh, new observations new pieces of evidence and again that is another model we have to further keep researching it to see if that model is right and this process of refining goes over and over again till till we approach the truth now this is the same process by which uh, you, you have newton's laws in the beginning and research or observations or pieces of evidence that came later showed that it's wrong and new theories came out like einstein's relativity which replaced newton's models and uh, uh, and became well accepted in physics same thing happens in medical science and chemistry in every other field of uh, science you can imagine new research tells you what are the flaws in the old model old model which is uh, based on uh, fewer pieces of evidence ba uh, what are the flaws there now let's try and create a new model which is based on a lot more pieces of evidence and again, in science, ultimately, we only have models and they're only as good as whatever uh, evidences we have before that point. So we are always doing research to get new pieces of evidence. This is how science refines itself. It's not Ayurveda that refines itself. It's science that refines itself through the scientific method. Now, Ayurveda, on the other hand, does not refine itself at all. 5,000 year old principles, like she said in this video, are still the same in Ayurveda. What they do is they disinform people watching them. They disinformed the uninformed public against science. They make them not trust science so that they uh, trust Ayurveda or whatever um, pseudoscience they are trying to sell, they tell them, okay, it doesn't happen in science. Refining of knowledge doesn't happen in science. It happens in Ayurveda. No, it doesn't. There's no refining happening in Ayurveda. And uh, I'm not afraid of criticism. You can tell me whatever you want in the comments if you would disagree with me. Or if you want to say that I'm wrong in something I say, feel free to tell me right here in the comments. But what they try to say ultimately is that, hey, Ayurveda doesn't change. We are confident in what we've said 5,000 years back. So you should trust Ayurveda and not science, which changes. Would you trust something that doesn't change? based on new evidence when something new comes out and tells you that it's wrong some something you believed is wrong would you trust something that doesn't change based on that that's what ayurveda is the models of ayurveda are based on uh, on the elements the five element model earth fire uh, wind water uh, space all those things that's where this vata pitta kapha model comes from and uh, it's been exactly the same for 5,000 years, even after we've learned new evidence that shows that this is not what things are made of in the real world. Still, there's so much pseudoscience. It's so unscientific that it keeps holding on to its old principles. That's what Ayurveda does. And you can say similar things about all alternative medicine. This is why modern medicine should be trusted. And sure i've already told you that uh, some new evidence may come along that shows something some flaw in our model what we do with that new evidence is we refine our models so of course modern medicine can go wrong but it's the best guarantee you have of going right there's no 100 percent right no 100 percent wrong but the best guarantee of being right is if you trust and if you follow modern medicine not something like ayurveda or any other pseudoscientific medicine so this video is designed to generate distrust of science in the viewers uh, in in her viewers whatever uh, and some people kind of fall for that because they've been told so many things by other creators also this is the mainstream uh, ideas that go around that Ayurveda is, uh, is natural and modern science is not it's something in labs it's something it's chemicals dude everything around you is chemical everything I made of uh, is chemicals if I take a glass of water that is a chemical see your body if you consume something it doesn't recognize if it's 
made in lab or made in nature or whatever if those chemical ingredients are there in the foods then those are treated as nutrients by the body if it's required by the body or it's treated as something discardable by the body if it's not required that's how it works and there's one more thing that i want to say uh, it's why these alternative medicine practitioners try to disinform their audience it's because their main source of revenue is by turning people away from modern medicine by getting them into their practice and they only come to them if they don't trust the other good option that's available to them and that's modern medicine so they'll make videos that turn people away from modern medicine and some of it some part of it is uh, coming from a frustration in them that they couldn't get into mbbs because in india all mbbs and ayurveda and homeopathy and all those alternative medicines they come under the same entrance exams and if you don't score the ranks to get into mbbs you have to pick one of these fields so this frustration of not having gotten into mbbs is one of the reasons again i'll be making a lot more videos on this topic people who disinform you and make you distrust science don't listen to them don't watch their videos uh we can't and in the beginning of this video the reason i said i i took her name her instagram i showed you her instagram profile and took her took her by her name is because right now there's no uh, disincentive to putting misinformation out on social media people it, it's like people can get away for free for doing all these things i feel people have to be held accountable for the accuracy of the information they put out on social media and uh, right now since there's nothing holding them accountable i want to do this uh, i want to call people out by their names and uh, uh, so that they they are held accountable for what they say and if they want to uh, you know give me lawsuits or send lawsuits my way i'm not afraid go ahead and do that and that's that's basically it for this video i'll see you in the next one